Okay, so we're going to continue on with our brassica lab and we're going to plant our F2 seeds. So these seeds were harvested in the fall of 2019 um, from plants that were growing in the lab and these were F1 plants that were allowed to cross with each other. And if you remember, the F1 plants were all tall um, and they resulted from a crossing between two parents true breeding tall plants and true breeding dwarf plants. That gave rise to the F1s. We let the F1s um, cross pollinate each other and that gave rise to the F2 seeds. And that's what we've got in this bag and that's what we're gonna plant now and see what they look like. So we're gonna take the quads and first we're gonna place some wicks in the quads. That way that they can get the water that they need. And again, we're gonna put one wick in each quad each quad section. Okay, that one just halfway through. This one, about halfway through. And then one more. All right, good. So next I'm just going to half fill each of these with soil. Okay, this potting soil. Just about half full, that's all. It's quite important how you plant the seeds. Okay. So next, I'm gonna use some Osmocote fertilizer and I'm just gonna put one little pellet of fertilizer in each of the sections of the quad. That will give the plants the nutrients they need and it's a slow release fertilizer. All right, next I'm gonna fill it up basically to the brim, but just with a light sprinkle. Okay, gonna move that over. And then I'm gonna push it down a little bit. Just compact it a little bit. All right. Okay. Then I'm gonna add a little bit more soil just to level it off. Okay, again, just a light sprinkling. If there's any big chunks, I'm gonna get rid of those. So now I've just put it a light coat level with the top and I'm just gonna push it down just a tiny little wee bit to make a little depression. Now in each of these, I'm gonna plant four to six of the F2 seeds and I'm gonna do that with the rest of these. So let's take our F2 seeds. I think I'm gonna use the lid of this, mustn't get these mixed up with the fertilizer. They look completely different and obviously the fertilizer won't grow. All right. So I'm also gonna look at the seeds and if the seed look obviously shriveled, I'm not gonna plant it. And if it looks really big, like some of these just look really big and chunky, I don't know what's going on with them. So I wanna just plant what looks like a, an ordinary sort of generic seed. So again, we'll go one, two, three, four, five. This one, I'm going to do five also. One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to get rid of that big chunk. One, two, three, four, four, come on, five. And because I'm bored already counting to five in English, I'm going to do it in French. Un, deux, trois, Oh, one that got away. Can't remember how many that was, is that four? And then one more. All right, so I put five in each of these. Okay, then I'm gonna just push that down very gently to compact it, just a tiny amount. I'm just slightly below the level of the quad and I'm just really gonna put a dust coating of soil on top, really just enough to obscure the seeds, but not really enough to give them much depth, just so I can't see them. Because if 
we get any dwarf ones, we've got to make sure they'll grow. And so that's it, that's all there is to planting these. So I'm going to do the rest of these six, and then I'm going to put it in a sunny windowsill, and um, I'm going to take a little video clip of these every day so you can see how they grow. All right, that's it. Okay, so I carefully and lovingly planted all of these seeds. I put about five in each of these little squares. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my anti-algal square. So that's just um, this little square that I think has copper sulfate on it or something um, to stop the growth of algae. I'm going to add some water to the bottom of the tray. And then I'm going to put the quads in. That's it. Now the wicks should get wet and they should wick the water up, um, but the soil is rather hydros hydrophobic. It's not absorbing the water very well, so I'm just going to put a little bit on top just to sort of let gravity help pull the water down. And that will help the wick work. And these seeds should germinate in probably the next 24 or 48 hours. They're not called Wisconsin fast plants or fast plants for nothing. No sir. All right, good. So I'll put these on a nice sunny windowsill and um, we'll look at them every, probably every 24 hours, maybe even twice a day if they grow quickly.